Hello, Quad Flying Fun here. And I uh, wanted to talk a little bit or do another review on my uh, e scene H8 Mini right here. Um, I've done a couple of modifications to try to help with the uh, limited range issue. You can see here I drilled a hole in the top of it and this is the antenna wire sticking out that hole because it was all kind of curled up in the body here and uh, down inside here. And I also modified my transmitter. I did the same thing with it. Here's the antenna wire here. Um, I just drilled a hole in it right here and uh, put it out right here to help. And it did seem to help a little bit when I did this. Not a lot, but I did get a little bit better range with it. So I thought I would try uh, modifying the, the quad also and doing the same thing there. So let's, uh, let's get this guy in the air and uh, see if it really made any difference. So we got the quad plugged in, turning the power on, it's, she binds, see these bind automatically, you don't have to do the throttle up and down to uh, get these to bind, so we're good here, so let's, let's fly. Now I'm in uh, low rates here, and we can just take this guy over here and test him real quick, see what, see what this mod did, let me fly him out there, let me get up a little bit, because if I lose contact with him, it'll, wind will help blow it back to me. Well, I'm out significantly further than what I ever have been. Oh, this seems to have helped tremendously. Might actually be able to fly this little guy now. Now, I've got a little bit of a wind tonight, so I can't... Oh yeah, this, this helped it tremendously. So, you guys are, uh, where am I at here? Okay, let's come backwards. Oh yeah, that helped this guy, Gobbs, putting that uh, wire out through the canopy. So, for everybody that's got one of these, if you got that limited range issue like I had, just uh, do this mod with your transmitter and uh, do the... Same with the uh, quad, and uh, that cures that problem. Boy, that helped a bunch. I can actually fly this guy now. Well, I'm impressed. I've got it in low rates right now. You can see it's, of course, I'm flying into the wind there, so it's kind of limited on what it can do. You probably can't even see this little guy on the camera because it's so small. Let me kick this guy into high rates. Let's have some fun here. Oh yeah, she'll fly. See, I couldn't even put it in high rates before because it uh, range was so limited on it. I couldn't get it to uh, like I said, I got a little bit of wind out here tonight coming at me out of the west, which I'm flying that way right now. Oh yeah, little guy will fly. So for all of you, actually I wanted to do this because my YouTube page is getting so many hits on this little guy. It, it by far has the most hits of any of them, so I wanted to try to work with it a little bit and see what I could do. I would almost gave up on it and uh, because I couldn't get it to uh, fly very far, but this really helped it. Let me see if I can get her to do a get her to do a flip here. Get her coming downwind where she won't lose her momentum. Oh yeah. Uh oh. Here's my birds. Well, I'll tell you, the birds really don't like these little quads. <laughs> uh, they're martins. Martins are barn swallows, and they really don't like these quads. I'll tell you. Now, if you're in high rates like I'm, like I'm in right now, boy, you have to be really light on the yaw stick or this thing will really spin around on you. Has good bank, though. I like how it banks. I don't really care for this transmitter too much because it's so small in my hands, but... Uh, well, I'm really impressed now. This little quad does fly nice, and uh, it's stable. Even in the with the high yaw rates, you got to be real light on the stick. See, I'm 
turning it too much, just barely turning it. And you have to be real ginger on the stick to get it to turn. Get to use the yaw as you bank and turn, but it'll do it. I'm out of power here. Is she flashing? Let me get her overhead here. Let's see? Oh no, we're still good. Let's let off throttle just a little bit too much. So yeah, this little guy will fly. Let's do some of them insane funnels this thing does. Full y'all, look at that. <laughs> oh my gosh, that is just crazy. Turn him around. Oh, went too far, here we come. <laughs> Where are we at here? Where's my battery wire? Well, the red LEDs are in the front, so I can kind of tell by that, but they're hard to hard to see. Let's try it over top. Like, uh, yeah, we're flashing. I got to bring him in. Now, I did see one guy on uh, YouTube. He he's using some, uh, I think, 500 milliamp hour batteries with these guys. Oh. Um, they're for something else. They look like they're out of the WL Toys, the early uh, like the 959 and the 222. He cuts off the uh, outside of the battery, and uh, they'll fit in these guys real easy. So I'm, I think I'm going to try. Um, I've got one. If I can find it, I'm going to dig it out and uh, see if I can mod it and put it in here, and I'll do a flight with it also. But, uh, yeah, boy, that uh, putting that antenna out the top here really uh, really helped this guy. That, that, was, uh, that was a significant improvement. Because before, I mean, you can see in my initial review, I mean, I couldn't get out more than probably... 20 meters with this thing and uh, it would just drop but uh yeah that, that's impressive there I'm, I'm really uh i'm really happy with the performance of this guy now that really uh that really helped it so i'll probably be doing a lot more with this little guy i'm gonna fly it a little bit i may take these prop guards off of it i'm just going to uh, take something and clip them off down here because i know that'll help the uh, performance of it too especially into the wind like I've got out here tonight because uh, the wind, I mean, I got a pretty, you can see the tree over there blowing. I got a substantial wind out here tonight. But uh, yeah, if any of you have this guy, um, definitely do this mod. Just drill you a small hole here. Um, I don't know what size I drilled it. I just took a bit and uh, that I had laying around and it was a little bit bigger than the wire, so I used it. I would say about uh, probably 60 thousandths which is a sixteenth, close to a sixteenth of an inch, and that little wire would come right through there. And then when you do your transmitter, take these screws out back here, take the batteries out, and take, there's two screws here, and it comes apart, and then this piece will just come off. So if you've got a drill press like I got, it was real easy. I just took it down and uh, drilled that hole in there and extended the wire out of that. And, uh, boy, that, that, that is something else there. That really helped this guy. So I hope that helps everyone um, showing that mod. Um, if you like that, give me a big thumbs up and uh, until the next time, see ya. Bye.